What's good, YouTube? We have another deck profile here today. Brandon Daniels, top eight list from his regionals. Uh, I believe he got fifth place. Yeah, fifth place. So let's get into it. Uh, we'll call this The Farm. Uh, the person who gave me the list likes that name off of Adventure Time. Two Performing Pal, Second Donkey. One Rescue Rabbit. Three Master Paladin. Two Vector. Two Archfiend to Centric for High Scales and Backer Destruction. Two Guiding Ariande. One Draco Slayer, Luster. Two Guitar Turtle. Two Lazard Draw. One Monkey Board. One Part Naga. Uh, I really do like Part Naga's attack boost ability. Three Pendulum Sorcerer, one Silver Claw, and one Joker. Three Face Off, two Instant Fusion, three Upstarts because we're playing 37, three Wavering, a Scolding in addition to Warning and the three Strikes. In the side deck, we have two Drolls, two Majesty, three Maxi, two Twin Twisties, three Iron Wall, three Magic Deflector. We're seeing a lot more of this card lately. In the extra, we have two Dynoster, two Norden, two Ignisters only, one Dweller, one Castell. One Felgrand, one Feral Limp, one Magister Paladin, one Utopia using C39 for an extra material, Utopia the Lightning, and a Heartland Draco. Let's get into the tournament report. Draco Pals, round one versus Cosmo, 2 1. Round two versus Yang Zing, 2 0. Round three versus Cosmo, 2 0. Round four versus Draco Pals, 2 0. Round five versus Phantom Knight, 2 0. Round six versus Cosmo again, 2 0. Round 7 versus Phantom Knights again, 2 1. Round 8 versus Phantom Knights again, 1 2 versus Vincent, the second place guy. Round 9 versus Pure BA, it ended up in a draw. BA is very good at stalling out. Shoutouts, my great friend Matthew, who played BA PK for the first time at the same event and got 32nd, just getting him his invite for his very first regional. My friend Alex Buell, who first staying up with me from 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. the night slash morning of the event helping figure out a solid build. My other bays, Trent, Bobby, Joe, Gary, Austin, my new friend, Jordan, and the whole Yu-Gi-Oh! Brick Squad group. And also you guys for being that awesome. Thanks, thanks. Oh, and second donkey equals clutch. I never sighted more than two iron walls, so I cut it for a manco. 285 people turnout. I love Heartland and will keep it in with the, uh, had the mentality that, well, I see people finish off others with Nightmare Shark. My deck can do a better Nightmare Shark with a built-in soft lock effect. Uh, so pretty cool. Then we joked about like, you know, uh, farm girl being raised on the farm and that, uh, she raised Lizard Draw and Second Donkeys as her pets and Nog with Naga and Lizzie. So, uh, kind of a funny thing. But yeah, the farmhouse, kind of cool. Uh, different take on Draco Pals. Only thing uh, I don't know about is the two Ignister with Cosmo so prevalent, but it looks like he didn't play too many of them. And uh, perhaps better against Phantom Knights. But tell me what you all think in the comments below. I, I do like this build overall. It's interesting. It's innovative. Uh, Instant Fusion is pretty good. Uh, what do you guys think? I know you all are kind of starting to hate on Draco Pals like Necroz, but uh, it's definitely a 4-5 to five way format. It's not just this deck.